hey guys welcome so the other day i was taking a walk right and then it was early in the morning at about five five six a.m right and the sun started coming out but the moon was still also visible right uh, so now we had like two 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 of these uh, huge what do you call them uh, planets <laughs> yeah I, I guess they are planets in 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 their own right the Sun is a planet uh, well wo a very hot planet that is and then there's like Earth, and then there's like the moon right so i i could see the moon right it was still shining and then yeah and the sun was coming out uh, on the other side right and so it got me wondering and thinking what would happen if for whatever reason right unknown to us uh, the the moon starts moving towards earth to 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 crash maybe to crash to collide with with earth of course the moon is is much smaller than than the earth right but i was just wondering what would the effect be on 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 the planet earth or on 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 the human race and all that stuff and yeah given that the the moon has a a, mag a magnet right the core is, is like a magnetic field even the and uh and the earth is also has a, a magnet right which is not a far-fetched idea just imagine just look at it this way two magnets when when they come if they are at a certain distance they do not really affect each other but once you start to move them together and then the the effect starts to affect one another it's either they get pulled close to each other and then eventually collide or if the it's it's turned the other side well you try to push them together but they do not collide you know you always miss miss putting them together so given that the the earth has a magnetic core and uh, the moon also has a magnetic core what if for some instances the, there was a time there is a time maybe a moment in 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 a month where these two are much closer together to a point where they end up pulling towards each other what would happen so that got me yeah that got me thinking and wondering so as usual i did a research i google it google 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 <laughs> okay so i found a perfect video that will explain uh, what will actually happen so i want to share it with you guys so let's let's watch the video together moon affected tides all over the world okay the water thank you to beaches, right side started for, with a minor for the video our planet at first uh, people noticed the moon i think it's, brighter it's, it's, and a little it's a bigger, it's a nice detailed video the moon so yeah let's tides let's all check over it the out the water flooded the beaches but it wasn't a tragedy. A lot of fish came close to the shores. People found giant squid, anglerfish, I think this is and other creatures nice. next to the oh, coast. What type of fish although is they that? usually live in the dark depths. New, stranger things happen every day. Birds no longer fly to the south in winter. They okay, gather let me in huge forward it for you. The waters of the arrow is pointing and realize the moon has started to approach Earth for an unknown reason. The moon's gravity affects the gravity of our planet. This entails changes in the climate, the behavior of all living beings, and the magnetic field. Now, it rains in the driest places and gets hot in the coldest lands. 
It's knocking down ecosystems all over the planet. People living near forests hear wolves howling all the time. The moon drives these animals mad. The Earth's natural satellite is growing in size and lights up the night much brighter. Nothing critical has happened yet. People don't panic because they don't want to believe the end is coming. But then, one day, the moon reaches a critical point. You're walking down the street listening to music. And at that moment, someone pushes you. Okay, maybe that guy is late for work. You keep walking, and a girl coming by hits your shoulder. He's telling it I'm like sorry, he's telling uh, a and story from a, a movie scene or something. <laughs> you look ahead and see people running towards you. You take off your headphones and hear screams and sirens. People leave their cars and run away. Hundreds of seagulls are flying in the sky. You hear a strange noise among all the sounds of chaos. It seems to be water. How is this possible? You're in the city center, a few miles from the shore. But there's no time to think. You notice a huge wave flooding the streets and heading straight to you. You run into a building and go up to the 10th floor. From here, you're I think I've watched a movie like the this. It, I the think it was the cars, end of the world or what I thought. And I don't remember the, 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 the name You notice of a shark and other fish in the water. Of the People are hiding in houses and on the roofs. The whole city is quickly plunging into a catastrophe. Occurring all over the world. Massive tsunamis cover coastal cities. In some places, waves reach the height of a 30-story building. Many towns have been washed off the face of the Earth. The moon is too close to Earth, and massive floods are just the beginning. The moon flies around Earth and helps to keep our home on its axis. The moon provides climate stability and helps living organisms develop. But now, this balance is broken. The moon is approaching and changing our planet's gravity. Earth can tilt slightly to the side and provoke massive floods around the world. Imagine that you're holding a round glass of water. Tilt it a little. See how the liquid moves from one side to another? How long is another? this video? The same it's thing nine is happening no, now with long. the oceans. But the moon is not just approaching us. But I'll it's try to flying forward around the planet and getting closer with just each circle. Providing it causes natural information disasters in different is locations on Earth more or less, all the time. Uh, useless. Now the ocean floods <laughs> one side, and a few hours later, another. So, you see all the water going back from the streets to the shore. The oceans may return to the city again by the end of the day. Wait a minute. It seems the end of the day has already come. You notice that the sky has become dark. It's weird, because it's only 3 p.m. The moon changes Earth's rotation speed and makes the day go faster. The moon covers almost the entire sky and brightly illuminates our planet. You see huge lunar craters. It's so close that you can still see it even when the sun shines. In some places, the passing moon obscures the sun. The water is leaving the streets and everyone goes outside. At this moment, an earthquake begins. The road is cracking and the houses are collapsing. There are landslides on the street. Tectonic plates are shifting all over the planet. Imagine two magnetic balls that are approaching each other. So, one ball is the moon, and the second one is Earth's core. What do you think will happen to what's above the core? That's hundreds of thousands of miles of the Earth's crust. And now, it's all moving. Destructive cracks are emerging all over the world. The planet's highest mountains break down and turn into a pile of stones. The seabed cracks and releases magma from the underground depths. Volcanoes wake up and erupt magma. Clouds of volcanic ash cover the sky from the sun and the Scare stuff, man. But the scariest thing is still ahead. A collision Imagine. is inevitable. The moon flies around the planet like a ball in a round glass with a hole in the center. This force drives clouds all over the planet. Now there's a thunderstorm, but in five minutes it will be snowing. Then the night comes and it starts raining. Where do you run to? Of mud and There's no way you can run to. There's no way you can hide. Without gas mask. Think about your health. Ah, uh, bloody! To out how to I'm save right. from the collision. I hate you. A new you gravitational too. order will come when the moon crashes into Earth. Continents will change their shape. 
they will combine into one giant piece of land or split into a hundred smaller ones. The energy of the collision can burn all the oxygen in the atmosphere and make the planet unsuitable for life. Hiding underground also makes no sense because of deep earthquakes. People decide to spend their last hours with loved ones and their families. The moon is getting closer. It's now at the same distance as the International Space Station. The moon covers the sky. Many cities are in the shadows because of the waves. Tsunamis, several miles in height, crash down on the ground. Millions of tons of magma collide with the ocean. Billions of gallons of water just evaporate. Moisture rises into the air, mixes with ash, and floods the land in the form of giant Imagine clouds. Africa no longer Africa. You've accepted the complete up. destruction of the planet. But something strange happens to the moon at this moment. You notice giant cracks appear on it. The moon slowly begins to divide into two parts. Both halves crumble into hundreds of large pieces. It's just falling apart. The Earth doesn't have a natural satellite anymore. It's just a pile of giant space rocks. But why is this happening? There's a space around our planet called the Roche limit. In this place, the gravity of Earth is stronger than that of the moon. This means that the forces holding the moon together are weaker than those that tear it apart. People are cheering. The Roche limit has saved the planet. The moon won't hit us. It breaks up into millions of fragments and forms a circle around our globe. Now, Earth looks like Saturn. A belt of moonstones surrounds us. Huge chunks destroy everything in their path. All the space debris. The satellites are no longer working. Humanity loses its means of communication and navigation. People will have to use paper maps again. The moon held our planet's orbit at a certain angle before these events. Now the axis is tilted differently. One hemisphere becomes closer to the sun, and the other plunges into shadow. The North Pole and the Arctic may turn into hot deserts, and the equator of the planet may be covered with ice. Winter and summer can last for years. The moon's remnants fly around Earth, but some of them fall on our planet. Lu so yeah, guys, that is what would happen if the moon were to collide with Earth. Interesting, you know? If you like what you see, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification. That's it. I'm out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Booyaka.